Introduction to Mass Transfer Mass transfer is the movement of mass from one location, usually meaning stream, phase, fraction or component to another. In industrial process, mass transfer operation includes separation of chemical components in distillation column, absorber, and liquid-liquid extraction. Mass transfer in petroleum refining Petroleum refining is a chemical engineering process and other facilities used in petroleum refineries to transform oil into a useful product. The continuous binary fractional distillation column is an equipment of mass transfer. The function of this distillation is to separate the liquid feed mixture into components of fraction by selective boiling and condensation, which is reboiler, distillation plate or trays, reflux drum, and also the condenser. The function of reboiler, reboiler are heat exchangers typically used to provide heat to the bottom of industrial distillation column. They boil the liquid from the bottom of a distillation column to generate vapors which are returned to the column to drive the distillation separation. The function of distillation plate or trays is to provide liquid hold up in order to achieve the proper vapor liquid mass transfer that the distillation process requires for separation. The annex, the reflux drum or accumulator, serve as a distribution point for reflux and distillate. The condensed liquid leaves the reflux drum under level control. Drum level control is critical to ensure that the proper amount of reflux will return to the distillation tower. The condenser is located at the top of distillation column and removes energy from the distillation column. The purpose of the condenser is to condense the vapor leaving the top tray of the column. Reflux percent is the percent of liquid condensed in the condenser that is allowed to be collected as distillate. Distillation column is made up of a stack plate. A liquid uh, feed containing the mixture of two or more liquid enters the column at one more point. The liquid flows over the plates and vapor bubbles up through the liquid via holes in the plates. As liquid travels down the column, the vapor comes in contact with it several times due to multiple plates. A critical process in distillation columns. The liquid and vapor phases are brought into contact because as one mo uh, molecule of higher boiling material convert from vapor to liquid phase by energy release. Another molecule of the low boiling material to less the free energy to convert from liquid to vapor phase. The base of the distillation column contains a large volume of liquid consisting mostly of the liquid with higher boiling point. In our example, this would be water. Out of the base flows some of this liquid, some of which is heated in the reboiler and returned to the column. This is called boil up. Some vapor escapes from the top of the column and is returned to a liquid state in the condenser. Some of this liquid is returned to the column as reflux and the remainder is the top product of distillate. Vapor and liquid phases on a given plate approach thermal pressure and composition equilibrium to an extent depending upon the efficiency of the plate. In essence, the hot mixture is pumped into the bottom. The tower acts as heat exchanger, removing heat from the vapors as they rise. Some of them condense back into liquid and fall back down the column. The temperature gradually decreases as you go up the column. Different groups of hydrocarbon condense at different heights, and the heaviest at the bottom, the light test at the top. The final product is in its virgin state. In the first step, molecules are separated through atmospheric distillation at normal atmospheric pressure according to their molecular weight. During the process, which is also known as refining, the oil is heated at the bottom of a 60 meter distillation column at the temperature of 350 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius, causing it to vaporize. The vapors rise inside the column while the heaviest molecules remain at the bottoms without vaporizing. As the vapors rise, the molecules condense into liquids at different temperatures in the column. Only gases reach the top where the temperature has dropped to 150 degrees Celsius. The liquids, which are become increasingly light, the higher they are found in the column, are collected on trays located at different heights of the column.
The heavy residuals left over after atmospheric distillation still contain many products of medium density. The residuals are transferred to another column where they undergo a second distillation to recover middle distillates like heavy fuel oil and diesel. Engineers and scientists had figured out how to turn raw crude oil into the valuable fuels, lubricants and components. The process called cracking is used to maximize the youthfulness of heavy oil. Heavy oil has long strings of carbon and hydrogen molecules. Using a catalyst, these molecules can be broken into smaller chains, transforming the heavy oil into lighter and more palatable fluid. Reforming is a process that increases the amount of gasoline produced from crude oil. One of the products is called naphtha. The number of carbon atom in naphtha is about the same as in gasoline, but their structure is more complex. Reforming rearranges the naphtha molecule, turning it into a usable gasoline-like molecule. Blending is a process of mixing different refinery products that make finished petroleum fuels. Gasoline, for example, is blended to achieve octane standard, creating the grades of gasoline you see at the pump. Regular, mid-grade and premium that are necessary to meet the needs of specific Treating is a process used to produce cleaner gasoline which helps to protect both the environment and our health. Gasoline molecules contain impurities like hot sulfur that can be removed. When molecules are heated and come in contact with a speci special catalyst, a chemical reaction occurs that strips the sulfur away. These sulfur compounds are used as fertilizers and in pharmaceuticals. Nothing goes to waste in refinery. One, two, three. I've been running from the pain, trying not to feel the same, but it's a shame that we in second. Heating system. Use a heat transfer fluid as a heating medium to directly heat process fluid. Plant air. Flushing, cleaning, and drying of equipments and pipelines on an intermittent basis. Diesel system. Self-sustaining combustion in air to aid in emergency power generation. Something about his manners, oh, I know, I know.